Welcome back, it is Friday, that means FNA Friday, and today I'm gonna to talk about how I avoid burnout. If you're wondering where I am, I'm actually at my parents' house in Switzerland. That's right, this is my old room. We moved around a couple times, but this was the last house before I moved to San Francisco. Actually, my parents moved to this house when I moved to San Francisco. But yeah, this is my old room. But it's summer here and it's so hot, I can't stay inside, I have to come outside. Oh, much better. So why am I recording this here? The title of this is actually how I avoid burnout. I can't tell you how you will avoid burnout because it all depends on your situation, your type of life, and all the things that are making up your life and your situation. So I can't speak for you. All I can do is list the things that I do so that I avoid burnout. It's actually starting to rain here. I look for boundaries and checkpoints. So basically, as I go through work, and this could be work and teaching, or a long stretch of overtime, or just a lot of classes, I always kind of look at where I'm at mentally and physically in terms of the workloads, how much I sleep, and how much I spend time at work. I have to kind of look at, is this becoming too much? Do I have to stop? And do I have to reset myself? I mean, you will have periods where you work too much. I certainly have periods where I know this is going to be a lot of work, but I try to anticipate that and I try to choose that, okay, for this period of time, I'm going to work a lot, but then after that, I'm going to take a break and find a way to recharge. So you have to find a way to balance it and kind of prepare yourself mentally. And I say you, but again, I speak for myself. I try to find ways to talk to my family and say, this is a period of a lot of work, but then after that, we might go on vacation or go do something on the weekends. So I try to at least kind of have a roadmap of things that are coming towards me in terms of of work and the workload and then try to kind of balance those things with other things that are not work related and for that I have very clear boundaries where I don't work on the weekends and I try to not work in the evening as well I'm not talking about work at ILM but it's when I come home from work I want to reset and stop and spend time with the family and do things where I can read or watch a movie or exercise or play or whatever it is that is not work related so there's some sort of work-life balance and I've talked about that before in the Q&A's and weekends especially are super important for me to just turn things off. So I try to get up early in the morning and get all my work done then so that my teachings, the critiques and everything that I need to do kind of outside of work is done in the morning. So then I have kind of like the evenings where I can say, this is it. I don't have to work anymore, I can relax. This is really starting to rain now. Your burnout might also come from your own personal goals and maybe you just haven't achieved them. But you can't go into that spiral of, oh man, I failed. And then you start overworking, you work more, but you still don't get it. Then that's for, for sure the beginning of a burnout where you just work yourself so deep into a hole that you won't be able to get out of. Because as you work and as you try new things, as you switch jobs, you're always going to try to figure things out. You're not going to have a master plan for everything. Some things work out some things don't. Even for me, as I'm doing this channel, I mean, I'm figuring things out, I'm trying things, and if there's at any point something where this becomes too much and I can't do it anymore, I'll quit, I'll just stop, or I'll take a longer break. But for now, it's working, it's actually helping me. It's a good separate thing where it forces me to relearn things, to prepare lectures, it actually helps me with some sort of balance, and it's something else than what I do at work all day. But you really have to look at what works for me, and if you have a family, what works for you and your family. And as I'm saying this, this is raining even more. I even have rain on the lens here. Yeah, actually, you might be wondering, why am I outside and it's actually starting to rain? Why am I doing this? Well, I've been on vacation for three weeks now. So the last couple uploads of Stranger Things, actually yesterday's act analysis for the movie Us, and all the other things that I post on Friday and the critiques, all of that I have done before. This was all pre-uploaded. All I had to do is hit publish. So for the last three weeks, I've done, I wouldn't say nothing. I mean, I still had some newer critiques coming in, so it's not 100%. I'm turning things off and I'm just relaxing and having a vacation. So there's still a bit of work, but still overall, this has been a reset for me. And this is how I kind of look at things where I work, 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 but now it's done. I got to go on vacation. I took the whole family. We're here in Switzerland, visiting my parents, visiting my brother, but it's certainly not something that I can do all the time. There are a lot of expenses that come with this. So this is something I can do maybe every two, three years. It's sometimes with help of family members or paying for all the tickets and everything. So it's not something that I can say, hey, if you need a break, just fly to a different country. Uh, even I can't do that. I mean, but I try to look at things during the week, on weekends, bigger breaks, bigger resets, and then every couple of years, a bigger, longer vacation. So going back, I didn't want to record this during the first three weeks because the weather was nice. So I don't want to go out and, you know, record and edit and do all that stuff. I wanted to save this until that last Friday, which is today. And actually, we're flying back this Sunday back to the States. And I started this whole thing and it wasn't raining and now it's getting even worse. I don't even know how I'm gonna get from this little outside shed. I'm outside here, my parents' house is back there. 
I'm gonna have to run through and protect my camera. And I don't always recognize if I am completely relaxed or stressed out. I always feel like I'm probably okay, but then also helps that my wife is there and helps me and tells me, hey, maybe you should take a little break there. So I have a big support system around me that helps me recognizing that hmm, maybe you're slightly overworked. It's not a burnout yet, but you gotta be careful. Let's do something. So I use you know external check marks. I use external help. So the rain has stopped a little bit. I'm almost on the floor here, my steps. Looking out Lake Lucerne, it's fantastic. All of that for me is a massive reset so this is all very personal this is all very dependent on your situation and again I can't just fly to Switzerland take my whole family there but that for me is a big reset so if I can do this I will I will take advantage of that time the vacation that, that we have at work but if I don't have this and it's during work time I do have to have boundaries and checkpoints where I say this has to end and sometimes it's I'm in a I'm in a flow when I want to do something and I have just a lot of good ideas I want to get there but I recognize if I do this and I continue with this work then I will for sure start to burn out and I will work too much and I will overwork myself so even if I'm in a good state and a good flow I have to recognize that maybe even though it's okay now I still have to stop let's reset let's do something to find balance so it's not just work 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 and again these could be small things at home this could be small things even at work this could be when I commute home and listen to a podcast so there's just there are always little things that I can use at least again it's very subjective for myself to kind of balance things and stop and reset. And the big word for me is reset. It's just, I know I'm gonna go back to a certain state, it's gonna be okay, and let's get back into this. And this being, you know, work at LM, this could be multiple classes, the fall semester is about to start probably in a month or so. I know there's a lot of work coming ahead. It kind of coincides with work and potentially crunch or the end of a show. So I know this is coming and I got to prepare and potentially also with our YouTube channel, record things way ahead so I don't have to do everything in the same week. I can just hit publish and somehow I got to find a way to balance this whole thing out. Usually the end of the year is a bit more work involved, but then, you know, there's also Christmas and there's a Christmas break. We might have family that come from Switzerland to America so they're always so far there have been ways for me to rebalance things and reset things and it's not just me I mean I depend massively on my wife she knows me very well she can tell me when things are going a bit too far so there's a there's a big support system that I have with my direct family in Switzerland with my family with my wife and my kids so if you have access to that obviously try to take advantage of that but again you might not have any of this so again I can't speak for you I don't know what the roadmap is for you but at least I want to give you kind of an insight of what I do and again this is a massive exception I can't always just come here speaking of here it's not raining anymore oh, let me get up here all right this almost turns into a vlog vlog style <laughs> this is my parents chalet see in the back and then as I turn you have this fantastic view well not sure how much you can see there is mountain back there there's technically a mountain behind me but it's very very cloudy and foggy right now it's a bit of a bummer but you got ah oh, you got the lake down here it's all so fantastic and clean water i can just jump in there technically i could jump right now but i'm not going to but i could step down here there's a way to end this as i fall into the water but come on come on i love this i love water it's fantastic I think I'm gonna end it like this. Uh, there's not much more I can say. Again, this is a massive reset for me. I'm finding my friends from childhood. I'm here with my parents. I'm here with my brother, immediate family. It's just a fantastic, massive reset for me. So yeah, I've been spending the last three weeks here. and It's been absolutely awesome. I'm gonna leave uh, Sunday, today's Friday. So Sunday back home, San Francisco, Petaluma and then Monday back to work. So I'm gonna sign off and hopefully you find ways and hopefully you are not in a current state of burnout. And if you are, also just reach out, ask people for help. You can reach out online, whatever you have, whatever means you have at your disposal. If you feel like you're burning out, just try to stop and ask for help. There are a ton of people that will hopefully help you, even if it's just people online that you can connect with if you're an animator in the animation industry. Um, but at the same time, you know, again, it's very personal. Uh, it's very subjective. I might also just be guessing. And if you feel like you're burning out right now and you need help, you can let me know in the comments. It's connect, it's email. If there's anything I can do to help you uh, with whatever means that I have, just let's connect. Let's see what we can do together so you don't have to do this whole thing by yourself. That's it. I should just jump into the lake right now. I'm not going to do this, but this is it from me. But I will see you next week in America again for the usual schedule. I lied, I'm not stopping here. 
I'm gonna say goodbye. This is my parents' house. And this is the view that helps me reset massively spoiled. Look at this, absolutely fantastic.